another Inside Music Row. Today, we'll hit up a number one party for the legendary Reba. We'll also catch up with the Eli Young Band celebrating the release of a new EP. Finally, we'll hook up with a former rocker making a new home in country music. All this and more coming up Inside Music Row. Hey there, I'm Bailey, and I'm so glad you joined us for another Inside Music Row. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with Randy Travis. Randy and Cracker Barrel are teaming up for a hot new album to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project. The new self-titled disc includes 12 tracks, including hits such as Forever and Ever, Amen, I Told You So, and 1982, and is available only in Cracker Barrel Old Country stores. Faith Hill, Loretta Lynn, Brenda Lee, and Taylor Swift are among the more than 70 female artists featured in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum's exhibit, Women Who Rock, Vision, Passion, and Power. The exhibit is now open and shows how women have influenced popular music from the early 20th century to the present. Kenny Rogers is spending some time in South America on his five-date tour. He's stopping in Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, and Colombia, where he will manage to find some time to check out the scenery between shows. It's always interesting for me when I go to a non-English speaking audience, because I have no clue what to do. I mean, it's, they're either going to run me out of Dodge or we're going to have fun. Taylor Swift has topped the RIAA song certification race over Lady Gaga, with almost 23 million career digital single sales to date. Taylor is now in the middle of the North American leg of her Speak Now tour, but she is taking some time out to perform at next month's CMA Music Fest. The Woods Amphitheater at Fontenelle is having a very successful inaugural concert season so far, already hosting Chicago and other fantastic artists. Look for Steve Martin, Willie Nelson's Country Throwdown Tour, and ZZ Top to play there in the coming weeks. Now it's time to go inside the song. The Roy's latest single was written by Lee and Matt Rogers about a certain type of hardworking people. Here's Lee to tell us about their single, Coal Mine and Man. The thing about this song is we didn't want to go into the, the dark side of coal mining, which unfortunately is usually the only time that we talk about coal mining. And we wanted to just talk about the daily life, the alarm clock going off and having to get up before the sun and, and sometimes not seeing the sun. And um, just, you know, going home and his woman makes everything okay and he knows that it's, his family's the reason he does this. And it was just a fun song to write. Yeah, he's a coal artists are now shifting their summer tours into high gear. Let's take a quick peek at who's going where and when. We have to take a tea tiny little break, but I want to let you know about some new music we have up for grabs this week. It's the latest from the lead singer of Air Supply, Russell Hitchcock. We have his country debut, Russell Hitchcock, Tennessee, The Nashville Sessions, up for grabs this week. But you have to enter online at InsideMusicRoad.com. Don't forget, I still love to hear from you through email, too. That's Bailey at InsideMusicRoad.com. Now for that break, but we'll be right back with a number one party, so don't go away. We'll be back in a sliver.